Hi, my name is Leilani. And my name is Ellie. And we teach the shells class, and today we're going to have a nature nugget on raccoons. Aww. Now, raccoons in a lot of different countries and a lot of different languages are also known as like washing bears. Have you ever seen like a raccoon wash its hands? Mm -hmm. So it turns out that raccoons don't have really great vision, especially because they they're nocturnal, so they don't really need the great vision at night. They use their hands to be able to sense things. So when you see a raccoon putting water on its hands, it's because the water act actually activates little hairs on their hands so they can see better with their hands. So they also have really incredible hands that they have all five fingers. They don't have a thumb like we do, but yet they're able to open doors, open jars. That's how they're always getting into trash cans and they're incredibly intelligent. There has been a couple of different tests with them. We almost, instead of using lab rats, we almost use lab raccoons because they're so smart. However, they use their hands to be able to grab things, climb trees, open things. It reminds, that's how they get all, most of their senses. It reminds me of a passage in the Bible where Thomas, where he was talking to Jesus. He, well, he was talking about Jesus and he goes, I don't believe it if I don't see it or I don't touch it with my hands. And Jesus said this when he finally came back. He said, put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my sack. Stop doubting and believe. Then Thomas said, my Lord and my God. And then Jesus said to him, believe because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. And we are lucky enough to have the Bible and to be able to read these passages and learn more about God that way. We may not be able to touch him physically like Thomas did or use our hands like the raccoon did, but we can believe because we have the word of God. Go ahead and bow your heads as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us the word and giving us nature so that we may be able to learn more about you. And we can't wait for when you come back and we can hug you and touch you with our hands again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.